The adaptation of bestsellers in our time is not news. Yes, it never was. But how difficult it is to find a TV series or film that does not just parasitize an already famous name, but brings something of its own and makes you feel and emphasize with heroes. Today we are talking about The Legend of the Seeker. You know, I really like to remember all series from my childhood. It is always so exciting and thrilling. Turn on the first episode of once well-known series again and experience the same emotions. Unfortunately, this is not always possible and we often confuse nostalgia with a real interest in a really good product. But this show did not disappoint me many years later. I remember how somewhere in 10th grade, at night secretly from my parents, I watched the series with rapture. And then again in the first year of university. And now, five years later, is it worth your attention in 2021? First episode went live 13 years ago, and this is crazy. It seems like it was an eternity ago. It is scary to start measuring your memory in decades. Well, okay. As I said in the video about the charms, despite the fact that they're even older, the series was released 20 years ago, the quality is still good. What about The Legend of the Seeker? A very beautiful picture for 2000s series. Now sometimes they should have been worse. Yes, the graphics sometimes leaves much to be desired and it is an understatement. But you subconsciously forgive it because the show is old enough. Chroma key is sometimes visible but not critical. Filming took place in New Zealand. Gorgeous landscapes, expressive costumes and exciting adventures. Pretty popular location for the filming fantasy, right? The protagonist of the story is the young Richard Cipher, who was a kid of a guide in the forests of Westland, without exorbitant ambitions and only dreamed of reaching the title of a hunter. There was no magic in the region. Once he assisted Kaelin Amnell in the attempt to escape the soldiers pursuing her, and after this, his life takes a sharp turn. The young man gets to the visit Zedeko Zulzorander, who tells him that the boy will become the seeker of truth who is destined to defeat the tyrant Dark and Raw. Kaelin herself is Mother Confessor, who has the magical ability to subdue another's mind in her own free will. He, Richard Cipher, is the warrior mentioned in the prophecy as the one who will liberate the Midlands. Richard becomes the owner of the Sword of Truth, and together with Kaelin he sets off on a dangerous journey. Raul rage in earnest and plans to subjugate not only the Midlands but also Richard's native Westland. Many dangers await him along the way, but the main character has an adventurous spirit and great luck that help him get out of the variety of situations. Our hero realizes that great hope and great responsibility are pinned on him not only for the lives of some, but for the fate of all three kingdoms. At the same time, he will be accompanied by powerful allies, a strong magician of the first level, a wonderful girl with powers of mind control and his best friend. In the series, all genre signs intersect and merge. Lands and magical worlds, magical forces, wars, attributes filled with mystical illusions and the confrontation between good and evil. A series for fans of the fantasy genre in which you can find an original solution in combination with the already beloved plot motives. Medieval themes are returning to life and gain popularity. Probably we are just tired of the future and time travel and we want more fairy tales in life. The series was released in 2008, in the same year as our beloved Merlin. That year was clearly rich in good series, and after a dozen years, the topic is again experiencing its rise. And for sure, it will be so more than once. And the reaction to the review of the Merlin series proved it. That we still love the series and are ready to watch them from time to time. Sam Raimi was the executive producer of the series. But the plot of the literary series is not directly transferred to the screen. Terry Goodkin himself took part in writing the script and changing individual lines. Filming of the series began in May 2008 with ABC and Disney. The first and second seasons each consist of 22 episodes. The second season was the last one. Filming has stopped, the series is closed and will not resume. Originally named the first rule of the wizard after the first book in the Sword of Truth series. The show was renamed The Legend of the Seeker as the suggestion of Good King. 
as the producers wanted to distinguish the show from the books and thus give them an opportunity to eliminate the story of all books in the series. And this is the first television show produced by Rob Tappert and Sam Raimi, which did not star Lucy Lawless. Hello, I'm Lucy Lawless. Prepare to watch the beginning of an epic adventure, years in the making. The opening scenes of television's most anticipated new series, Legend of the Seeker. The legend begins right now. Many of the cast has starred in Xena, Warrior Princess, Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, Young Hercules, Cleopatra, 25-25, Jack of All Trades, and the star's original. Critics received the series ambiguously. Many spoke about the series and flattering. Some noted that certain situations and scenes in the series are too similar to fragments of more famous works. Star Wars, the trilogy The Matrix, Wheel of Time, Xena, Warrior Princess, and The Legend of King Arthur. Critics positively regretted the fact that quite high funds were allocated for the work on the series, and its production took place in the beautiful landscapes of New Zealand. A critic called the series The Lord of the Rings meets Xena. The series ran for two seasons, but this is quite enough. It left pleasant impressions and made the most interested one read books. Oh, there's so many of them, the books I mean. These novels have been written for 26 years. Already at this moment, I was stunned. After reading the Wikipedia about the book, I decided that the books are clearly worth reading. And although in the second season Richard won a complete victory over the fallen Dark and Roll, he has a new and more omnipotent enemy, the ruler of the underworld. Also a new fighter, Kara, the Mortid, who previously served Roll, joins his team. The series has a fundamental distance from the plot of the books that is especially expressed in the final. However, it is noticeable that individual character and their characteristics, images and behaviors were taken. Although some situations refer to those described in the books, it is easy to understand that the plot as a whole was well redrawn. Perhaps it was due to the narration of sensations of magic, such as it is written in the book and the inability to film it. The show was cancelled because the Tribune company, which produced and distributed the series, went bankrupt. The series was unable to find another filming network for the show before the cast and crew were released from their contracts. Fans of the show were continuing their campaign to rewarm the series through the third season for a long time, but unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. Had the show not be cancelled, the third season would have followed Dark and Roll as he said to rebuild Tara's empire. What can I say about The Legend of the Seeker? I really like the show. Her personal attachment to the genre definitely played a role, but it's really good and worth your time. It may be difficult to watch the series since all the main moves and plot twists are well remembered, but this does not stop me from enjoying a little bit of childhood again. How do you like The Legend of the Seeker? Have you seen it? And how long ago? So crazy. 21 novels. The man clearly had a lot of time to write and, des and desire to do it. I'll probably read it after I finish The Witcher. And watch only good movies and series that make you remember your childhood, I guess. Did I get it?